Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Fedora 37 on VirtualBox. Fedora is a Linux distribution developed by the Fedora project and it contains a software distributed under various free and open source license and MTB on the leading edge of open source technologies. So the first release of Fedora was made in 2003 and it is going quite strong in 2022. And it is one of the most popular uh, Linux distribution which is present at the moment. So before starting the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are connected with me and it means a lot to me. So now let's leave this here and let's start the process of the installation. So to install the Fedora on the VirtualBox, first of all we need the ISO file of the Fedora. So to download the ISO file of the Fedora, you need to go to the Fedora official site and down here you'll find the uh, Fedora workstation version so just click on that so I'll give this download link on the description box so you can just copy it from there so to download the Fedora you'll see the couple of links here so we are going to download this architecture and you can find this Fedora 37 uh, live ISO so just click on download and the download will be started so after downloading the ISO file of the Fedora you need to uh, download and install the VirtualBox. So if you haven't downloaded and installed in VirtualBox, then I'll show you the process to uh, download the VirtualBox. So for that, you just need to go to this link. I'll give this link in the description box. So you can just copy it from there. And you can see the download section right here. And we are going to download the VirtualBox for the Windows host. So just click on the Windows host and the download will be started. So after downloading the VirtualBox and the ISO file of the Fedora 37, you need to install the VirtualBox on your system at first. So at first open your download folder and you need to run this VirtualBox exe file as the administrator. So the installation of VirtualBox is pretty much easy. You just need to uh, click on S, S and you just click on install. So that's it. So after this, choose to run the uh, VirtualBox and click on finish. So you can see this, this is the interface of the VirtualBox. So now at first you need to set up the um, Fedora on the VirtualBox system. So to set up the Fedora 37, you just need to click on new and type the operating system name, which is Fedora. So type Fedora. And VirtualBox is quite uh, progressive enough to find its type and choose its version, which is 64 bit. And just click on next after this. So now you need to configure the hardware for your Fedora system. So first of all, you need to allocate the RAM size for your Fedora system. And the second option is to allocate the processor. So to allocate the RAM size, you need to allocate at least 4 gigs of RAM. So according to the Fedora project, you need to uh, have at least 4 gigs of RAM uh, to run the Fedora quite smoothly. So 2 gigs of RAM will also do the work for you, but, but allocate at least 4 gigs to be on the safer side. So now to allocate the processor, you can set it up to the green mark. So number of CPUs can be different according to the system capability. So you can uh, allocate the CPU up to the green mark. So after this, you can just click on next. And now you need to create a virtual hard drive for your Fedora system. So you need to allocate at least 20 gigs of um, virtual hard drive for your Fedora system. Or you can just allocate as much as you want according to your requirement so after allocating the disk size just click on next and click on finish so the first round of setup is done for your Fedora system now you need to again um, click on settings and you need to make some changes in the uh, settings so inside the general section click on advanced and you need to set this to bidirectional so it will enable you to copy and paste drag and drop the files and folders between your root system and the Fedora system so after this, I click on system and you'll find the previous settings which we made. So there is no reason to make any changes here. You can make changes later on uh, according to your requirement. So now I click on display and you need to set the video memory for your Fedora system. So it is quite important step. So to set the video memory, you can set this up to the uh, half of this green section. You can see this green section here. You can just set it up to the half. So the total size of your video memory can be different according to the system capability. So make sure to set it uh, somewhere between this. So after this, you need to click on storage. So you need to add as the ISO file of the uh, Fedora OS. So click on empty section and click on this option and choose a disk file. 
So again, you need to go to your download folder and choose your Fedora workstation. And you just need to click on OK after this. So now all these settings are done and we are just ready to start our Fedora system. So now just click on start. So now you need to choose the first option to start the Fedora workstation live 37. So now choose to install the Fedora into the hard drive. So now you need to choose your language uh, which you want during the installation. So I'm just choosing English and you can just click on continue after this. So you can see there's a bunch of options here. So now just click on the keyboard and you can set your keyboard layout, whatever you want and just click on done after this. So click on date and time and you can choose your location uh, to set your time zone or you can just set it from here and just click on done so after setting the keyboard layout and the uh, time zone now click on the installation destination so it is the important step so make sure to choose this uh, hard drive which was created just before so it is the 22 gigs of hard drive which i have created uh, for my Fedora system so choose this and uh, you can see the storage configuration here so choose it as automatic and you can just click on done after this. So installation process is quite easy and after this you can just click on uh, begin the installation. So here we go the installation process is started so it may take a while. So you can just grab a coffee and wait for uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So the installation is done you just need to click on finish installation. So now choose to start down the system. So open the virtual box and inside the virtual box click on the settings and head inside the storage section and make sure that uh, this section is empty. So to empty the section click on remove disks from virtual drive and click on OK. So after this you can start your Fedora system. So this is the Fedora welcome screen and you can view it in the full screen from here. So here we go. Now you can set up your Fedora system. So click on the start setup. Click on next. Enable the third party repositories. And you can click on next after this. Skip this for now. So now you need to set up the username and password for your Fedora system. So here we go, the setup is done and now you can continue enjoying the Fedora system. So hey guys, thanks for watching. In this way you can install the Fedora 37 on VirtualBox. I hope you guys find my video informative. I'll make this video if you like, share and subscribe my channel. See you guys in the next video. Until then, signing out.